Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to something. A horror game where you must survive an SCP style facility, but this time you are the SCP. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Gordon. Hey, Bill. So, this is K147? Yep, brought it in last week. I am the Damn. YouTuber. It's ugly as hell. <laughs> Given the horrors I've seen in this place, I wouldn't say it's the ugliest thing here. Got a DNA sample yet? We drew blood earlier, but nothing showed up. Most of the tests we've run had minimal to no results. Yeah, YouTubers so don't have DNA. That it doesn't have any building blocks. It just exists. Wow, really something, huh? Yep. Hey, my shift's about to end. Do you want me to get you anything from- What the? A power outage? Uh, well, you know what that means. It's been nice knowing you. It's true. We YouTubers have no blood, like I was saying. Get no DNA out of us. Also, you guys really need, like, redundancy in your power generators, because... Every single game premise of these games, so as the power goes out. Let's see, K147, which is us. Name, something. Type, neutral. Description, a tall, slender humanoid being with three arms and what appears to be an upside-down face. The origin of this entity is unknown. Research suggests that there is no origin, and that it simply manifested itself out of thin air through sheer willpower. It is relatively harmless, but will attack when provoked. It has developed somewhat of a liking towards subject K133. Hmm. K133, let's remember that. Protocol to be held in moderate security containment. Must be monitored 24-7 via camera. Do not approach any closer than 10 feet. Look at that, like a charge. Whoa! You tried to shoot me! Rude. Hey, everybody. Hi. Excuse me. Going through. Oh, I missed one. Sorry. There we go. Subscribe. Like, favorite. What's this? God, we're like some kind of weird Sonic the Hedgehog ISP. What are you? Excuse me, let me kill these guys first. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you guys yet. Now come soon, let me find out what we're dealing with here. Such a K-104, named Sabrina, type hostile. Description, a spirit identified as a banshee that takes the form of a young woman with pale skin and dark hair. Discovered after a young couple was found dead in their apartment, on top of where her body was buried. Very irritable and occasionally makes loud shrieking noises. Protocol will be held in maximum security containment. Do not make eye contact. Do not let Kyle anywhere near the subject. Kyle? Hmm. So you guys basically just have an anime girl trapped in here. Anyway, you're gonna die now. You too. So, I think we need to find, like, some generators, some keys, or... We gotta knock out something, excuse me. You dodged. You can't do that. I hear weird noise. Which I'm not too fond of. Yeah, there's a generator. Excuse me. There we go. That's knocked out. Now that's probably gonna open up all the green doors. I'm assuming how this is gonna work, because I saw some color-coded doors near the, uh, the SCP, uh, Sabrina over there. Is that... <laughs> well, we're not dead. So that's good. So yeah, every time we knock out a generator, one of those things is gonna escape, and this is gonna be a little bit harder... ...to survive. You can't murder me! Stop it! Oh, it's got like an eye. K-023, name Albino. 
type hostile. Description, a large white mammalian creature with a large mouth and claws. Discovered in Himalayas after a research team was sent there and brutally slaughtered by it. It is carnivorous, but it seems to attempt to eat anything it can get its hands on. Protocol, be held in maximum security containment. Must be restrained at all times. Must be fed a small or medium-sized livestock twice a day. Two to three personnel must monitor 24-7. You guys wait there. I'll be back for you all. You are a blue door. What the hell is that? Five sharp. Type passive. A large floating crystalline structure discovered floating around in the Amazon. I was trying to try to see if I could walk up to a reading. Discovered in the Amazon rainforest back in 1967, research suggests that this crystal is supposedly a guardian of some sort of interconnected wormholes between planets. It cannot be communicated with, but does not does seem to enjoy a wide variety of music. Protocol be held in minimum security containment. Even if one of the wormholes do appear, do not allow it to enter. Yeah, you seem like a nice enough guy or crystal thing. You stay there. Reflect on your life. I'll be back to murder you later. But till then, reflect. What? Man, I'm lost. You guys need to like, put up some signs or something. Cause like, it's really easy to get lost in here, you know what I mean? Like look, every room looks the same. I wonder your chandelier is going out. Your dang contractors can't get their them dang things to fix them. What's this? Subject K097, name the face, type passive. Description, a floating face that bears resemblance to Chris Cormanach, the founder and former CEO of Arizona Anomaly Containment Foundation. Of course, no relation to the SCP. Discovered a few weeks after his death back in September 2067. As its end has been spotted a few times roaming the halls of this facility. Even in death, he is always watching. Hold on, I need to... There we go. Oh, 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 God! Sabrina. I think we confused with the Teenage Witch. Subject K-150. Pablo the Cactus Farmer. Type neutral. This description, a humanoid figure of a large head, slender limbs, and apparel that resembles a poncho and sombrero. Rated from an altered dimension referred to as the Cactus Dimension, that arrived here after it was destroyed. Discovered the Mojave Jester is a creator of Subject K-151. Protocol, be held in moderate security containment. Do not allow subject to come in contact with organic material. If cactus-related materials are discovered on or near the subject, remove them immediately. Okay. You seem like a chill dude. Well, we're gonna need to go and start murdering everyone again. See K113 or K13 forever. Named Voltican, type neutral. Description of floating multi creature that appears to have wing like protrusions from its sides. It's capable of converting itself into pure electricity and traveling through any kind of electrical equipment, originating from a computer virus that gained consciousness and the ability to rearrange its own particles. Has developed somewhat of a liking towards subject K147. Build in moderate security containment. Do not allow subject to come within 30 feet of electronic equipment, which includes computers, lights, cameras, or cellular devices. Okay, here's the blue generator. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't see anything implying that they can kill us. Oh, the whoa! Hey, buddy. Hey, Sabrina. Get the blue power. Man, it's really easy to get lost. Oh, hey. Thanks for freeing me earlier. Gotta open the green doors. Green and pink. The, the green one, we already know where that is. I mean, we always usually tag it first. But the, the map is not linear in the sense like it does loop. So we this time we've actually tagged the... Uh, 
the other one first. So let me see what's going on. Very rude. Stop shooting. What are you? Hmm. K077, man tree, type hostile. A humanoid figure with a tree growing out of their top half. Discovered in the depths of the woods after hearing about it. Distress signal from an outpost. The subject seems to only attack and move when not observed directly. Protocol be held in maximum security containment. Did not direct the subject whatsoever. In the event the subject is relocated, use class Delta lore personnel. So as soon as we knock this out, it's gonna come for us. But it says only when it's not being observed, so it's, you know, it's one of those. Oh, I've been treated! Oh! Hey there! Aren't you... cutish? Passive. Barble. A bipedal mammalian creature with a W-shaped mouth discovered in Santa Fe, New Mexico a few weeks ago. DNA samples and x-rays suggest that this creature isn't from Earth and is fitted by some sort of chromatic inhibition phenomena. It does occasionally bite, but is mostly harmless. Seems to like raspberries for some reason. Hey! You're all free now! No, 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 no. Pablo, I've come here to save you. Now go murder things. It's what we all do. Ugh, I don't like that one. It's like one, what murders if you look at? What murders you if you don't look at? And both of them can theoretically spawn in the same room, mind you. Anyway, yeah, well, we can theoretically escape, but I want to, you know, save my buddies. Save my fellow destroyers of the universe. Don't worry, I got you. By the way, I, I don't think I can play that song. I muted it. But it was playing Japanese, uh... Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Japanese basically city pop. You need to go away. I need to find my last friend. Why'd you try attacking them for once? Don't even attack me. I'm an SCP. I'm one of your fellow bros. Like I said, we can't escape. I need to just go get my other... My other buddy. Well, here you are. You're free! Now let me just find the exit, wherever it was. Here it is. I'm gonna want you to go away now. Thank you. I'm still gonna want you to go away now. Hey, what's up? I'm leaving. Hmm. There's not a exit. And I can't attack. What is that? Nope! So that ending, uh, that was our perspective switch. So the thing we got attacked by was tending what we were playing as throughout the entire game. Out of personal curiosity, I'm gonna go and see what the jump scare death is for uh, the Yeti thing. The albino, as it's called. It went down exactly as I expected. So that's it for something. So there's been a few games where you play the monsters out there now. Um, I always like games where you play the monster. I think they're, uh, you know, kind of like change of pace, like Alien vs. Predator. There's been something that go all the way back to the Genesis, where you play like a slime, 
And then you know, there's been some other more modern ones. Uh, and there's even the one that where you play the, the SCPs also, more literal SCPs, uh, but it's multiplayer. But I like this one for its actual kind of sense of humor. It's a game jammy kind of game, and it's from the, the person who made... Uh, it's a game called Rose and Light. I haven't played it yet. It looks somewhat pretty good, at least just from the description and the screenshots. This looks like this was kind of just like a little Halloween kind of side project they did. And I suppose when you're basically an unkillable thing, the only thing you gotta watch out for is the other unkillable things are just more unkillable than you are, apparently. And I, if I, you know, it's been a while since I've read the SCP profiles. It's, you know, years and years. Uh, but I think some of them actually had antagonistic properties too against each other in certain interactions. So it kind of makes sense. It makes sense, you know, like it would kind of emulate that a bit. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching Play Something. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.